scapegoat with us. We had a song out that was like doing pretty well on the chart, and we'd like play a show in Monterey or like I remember Monterey. There was like a hundred people one night. We're like, this kind of sucks. And then the next night we were playing in Atlanta, and there's like thirty-five thousand people. We we're opening for Stain in Centennial Park, and it was like it's this roller coaster when you're going on that. You're like. Oh man, one night you're kind of deflated. Like, oh, I thought there'd be like four or five hundred people here. There's only like a hundred, and we're playing at this pool hall. Like, what? You know, I thought everything was going good, and then the next night you're like, this is the biggest show of my life I've ever played. You know, and so it, there's it, it's a really weird thing when you jump into that like major label world, which is a whole other thing. But you know, I don't know. I guess it, in 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 sort of summary of that, I would say just have a good product, put on a good show, be consistent, really believe in what you're doing. Um, and, and really try to get some believers behind you. Chico is is, a, is, a, is an amazing place to like, you know, kind of just grow as a person. I feel like it's very non-judgmental. You know, I would always say like, we're gonna new song, let's play it in Chico first. There's a, a, a real contingent of like free thinkers here, you know, and it, it goes to show like every summer the show's in the park and it always goes off without a hitch, you know, rarely, there's, there's rarely any, any drama that goes down. It's a very like loving people. I was really surprised at how much people took to my, my music and my sound here. I was always really grateful for that. And that's one of the reasons that I always kept shouting Chico out and years later I was living in LA but I was still making songs and little remixes of songs about Chico because I owed a lot of my success to Chico. You know, I owed a lot of my success to the people here um, really kind of looking out for me and like making, making me feel like I was part of um, you know, something important in a community, you know. I really feel like overall Chico is, um, you know, a really, a really special little place for, for how small it is and for where it is. And a lot of times I'm in LA, I'll say I'm from Chico. Oh, Chino? They think Chino, you know, and I'm like, nah, man, not Chino, you know, <laughs> um, Chico. And then, you know, and now we got, you know, Sierra Nevada and Aaron Rodgers and some other calling cards, you know, but, um, there's, there's other things linking it to it. But I really feel like, you know, Chico's expanding, Chico's growing. I, I really I really feel like that this, this is a special place and that there's gonna be more like amazing things coming out of here. Chico is always gonna be like my hometown, you know, regardless of, of where, where, wherever I go in the world or wherever it takes me. This will always be my hometown. And I feel like once you live here, you want it to be your hometown. You know, it feels like a hometown. You know, there's, there's very few places I've been that you could really say like, you know, th this, this would be my hometown, but you know, Chico is my hometown.